This is like the first time, I, this is the first album I've made since about maybe six years and um, and the, the last one was, felt like an age ago. I wrote a lot of the songs for this album in a particular block of time and that was maybe about two years ago now. They sort of mark I guess in the in the space of the time between the two al this album and the album that came before I changed as a human being and as as is obvious but um but in the way that um in having a child sort of made me notice things about um what it is to like in essence um be a woman and sort of move me into like more feminine practices like more feminine explorations the songs, a lot of the songs, are in some ways exploring an independence and a cultivation and exploration of, I guess, I think, womanhood. Found very beautiful spot and lovely humans. And that's what I've just been sitting here thinking. Like, even that is um, such a thing to be grateful for and such a lovely, like, just such a lovely thing. <laughs> yeah, how did, like, how was that? Powell, did I do something different there? Or? Are you happy maybe to move on? Roughly the same each time, yeah. but I don't want to constrain you in that way. Slightly shorter this time than the time before. Okay. I think it was probably, there were so many things I couldn't even say, but... <laughs> with Pete is that he has a tape machine. In, in every element of what I've um, done with music, uh, it's, it's got to be a conceptual experience. And that is why I really like, for instance, the sort of core of the band being um, these guys who most of the time are, are um, jazz improvisers. So like they like, have this beautiful, playful nature to them. They speak a music language, but um, they can hear me when I'm like, try and um, create that feeling when you're lying alone in your bed and, and you, you've woken up at some hour and you don't know what hour it is and you kind of see, you've, you're in that space. Like, how does that feel? How do you then kind of co convey that? And I love that, yeah, they're extremely like technically good musicians, but, um, they have that ability to be quite spontaneous and playful and just sort of do anything I ask them to do. Believe me, I saw it like a deer on the track. Got a little bit more like um, hippie, hippie witchy in the in the years since the last album. More overtly, I always was, but more overtly. The whole kind of feeling so far to this experience is a dreamy one. Is a kind of like, and I'm choosing to sort of flow through it like a dream. So a lot of it is um, the boys are arriving from Berlin. We have Elio and Soren from Closer, and we have Pete, obviously, um, producing. And uh, I think I'm producing too, I think I'll be able to say that. And uh, there's a lot that like you could, I could be like scared about. There's not been any rehearsals or anything like that. So I'm choosing to see, sort of choosing to float through it like a dream. Um, and that was kind of like helped along as a notion by like 
having mugwort everywhere. Yeah, you know when you're like in a dream and you're kind of just like, you kind of just allow anything to happen. That's got, that's been the theme. Today, yesterday was like, the intention was hearing, like listening and like figuring out how we meld, figuring out the room that we're in. And then today I've sort of decided it's like a discernment direction and focus day on my part of like just starting to hone ideas, listening out, like being unafraid of being direct, those sort of things. Um, so that's today and that's as far as we've got so far. Cause true love lets go That was just lovely. Yeah. Oh. Pure magic. Yeah, absolutely. Me too, yeah. I need the wigs so bad. Well done. I enjoyed both those takes quite a lot. Mm. Yeah. That, that one for me was and a lot of it which is like the crux of like maybe both my like joy and anxiety is like the social aspect so how everybody comes together a lot of people record these days is separate layers of things on top of each other or at the very least separate rooms so that you're you're not bleeding into each other but it can be simpler and that can work and it creates a very different feel and uh, I think we're really starting to hear the room be part of the like the collaboration like there, there's a lot I feel of, of wood coming through um, I love that. Yeah, I really love that. Little girl, little girl, under an I've traveled far to greet you and I never went away You stand and scowl, arms across your chest I am here to let you know there's a beautiful sunset to the west Who walks herself to the end of the road Who boards the bus with a heavy load in her place well your place is with me now mm -hmm. 
Don't remember, can't remember, won't recall the first bleed. You never told your mother like you stifled every deed. You lay coiled and sprung, hands between your thighs. I am here to let you know there's a beautiful moon about to rise. Ooh, walked herself to the end of the road. the bus with a heavy load who sits down in her place well your place is with me now your place is with me Little girl, little girl, this is where you are. It'll learn you to be kind, and I promise from here you'll travel far. I know I was there, it's not an easy ride. But I ask you, understand that I will never leave your side. Who walks herself to the end of the road? A bus with a heavy load who sits down in her place well your place is with me well your place is with me well your place is with me I'd, I'd be happy just to be with that one. <laughs>